Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, this is. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring person's fast food toy story. And so for today, I am so excited because we're down to the last toy in the series called the Jolly Town uh, Castle. I thought it was fast. <laughs> so the Jolly Town Castle. This is the fifth toy and we're just about complete with the rest of the toys in the series called the Jolly Town Castle. Look at that. And the last but not least is none other than uh, Heady Spaghetti. So let's uh, open up Heady Spaghetti. Oh, wait. Uh, just like the other toys, this is also inclusive of a lot of different small parts that you have to build. And uh, according to the kids, they're really excited and they really enjoy the whole process of actually building up this palatial uh, Jolly Town Castle. Okay, and then... Also has this flag with a heart, <laughs> very dainty, very fitting for our jolly Disney princess. Well, I mean jolly princesses. Okay, the last piece will be Hetty in a very light pink gown. Wow, this one on the other hand, a sort of, a, a sort of reminiscent of the gown of uh, which, <laughs> which Disney princess? Probably uh, Cinderella. Yeah. Uh, before when she became when she was granted uh, the wish by the fairy godmother she actually made a pink dress which was uh, teared off by the two evil uh, stepsisters yeah uh, it was actually made together with mice and birds <laughs> isn't that awesome <laughs> well it's a good thing she has a fairy godmother that um, allowed her to actually come up with another gown which is far better in a jiffy as magically it's magical well anyway so like i said th this looks like the, the the first gown that cinderella cinderella was supposed to wear in the ball and uh, look at that it's so pretty nice and she's even wearing a dark pink glove and the tiara is there and of course the trademark uh, spaghetti here is still there <laughs> yeah we don't get rid of that though. and then at the back we have this paper that you have to remove in order to see the effect uh, made for this particular toy and once you're able to remove that we push this on and off button and let's for oh look at that <laughs> This is so awesome, I must say. Look at her, she's um, in purposes. <laughs> it looks like an ethereal image. Well, she looks like an angel. Wow. Okay, let's turn it off first and then we'll start building this other part of the castle. Okay. Yeah. I can just imagine how kids would definitely enjoy it. It's not so complicated, like I said, it's not rocket science, but the whole process of, of building the Charlie Town Castle is so enjoyable. Now I get it. Sometimes it really irritates me. <laughs> yeah, it somehow annoys me when the toys have to be built by yourself, uh, as opposed to having the toy already built and then you just play with it. But, I know I get the whole idea, the whole concept of building. Uh, the, the whole process is also very enjoyable as well. And then it has a roof, a spike roof, all the tower roof. And then we put this in this uh, green polish of uh, base. the palatial roofing of this particular tower and then we put Hetty inside of the tower with her glowing outfit with her glowing gown glowing just the princess outfit and there you go! <laughs> this is awesome! this is great! 
this is the last piece of the puzzle and then um, we we'll put it all together with the rest of <laughs> the rest of the toys in the series of uh, Disney Castle. Okay. You want to see it? Okay. That's the great masterpiece, the Piazza de Resultas, the completed castle. Okay, as you can see, we have Jollibee there on top uh, of the tower, topmost part of the tower, and then we have the the Prince, uh, the King Jollibee, and then the Prince uh, uh, Popo Potato with a sword on uh, the second part of the tower, and then at the bottom, we have the Knight. Yum. And the two princesses, Trolley and Hetty. Isn't this great? My goodness. I think you can use this as a topper for your cake. This will be great. This is great. Wow. What a wonderful, wonderful ensemble. <laughs> this is one of the best um, build the toy uh, project from John Z. This is great. I love it. So guys, if you really want to have uh, this particular palace in your own collection, you better go to your nearest Jollibee and then complete this series of toys from the Jollytown Castle, um, which includes five uh, of our beloved mascots from Jollibee. <laughs> we have Jollibee, Popo, Young, um, Twirly, and Hattie. Yeah, <laughs> and I would say, this is just an amazing race. Okay, I better put it down. It's a little heavy. <laughs> okay, uh, so guys, let's try to be thankful for every amazing grace that comes to our lives, be they in the form of a uh, heavy spaghetti toy and the rest of the mascots of Jollibee here, the whole castle from the Jolly Town um, series of toys. <laughs> Or basically be thankful also for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. Okay. And thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast with Toys. And I hope to see you again with our next Percy's Fast with Toy. With our next project perhaps. I think Jolly is constantly coming up with the projects such as this which is a refreshing take on the fast food toys very beautiful but uh, of course the downside is you have to complete the whole set otherwise yeah it's not as good when the whole set is not good. okay so thank you guys once again for tuning in to person's fast food toys and i hope to see you again with our next person's fast food toy story so until then bye bye see you around bye Oh, this is great. Pretty awesome, huh? Bye.